Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm RJ. In this episode, I wanted to cover one of the biggest mysteries in GTA V, and that is the single player DLCs, or lack thereof. You cannot tell me that when they first came out with Grand Theft Auto V, they did not have some massive single player DLC packages in mind. We know that in Grand Theft Auto 4 there was two major packages and they eventually released those two as a standalone game with Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City Stories. And then when you look at Red Dead Redemption, that was a big game for Rockstar of course. They had a DLC that was widely regarded as one of the most popular DLC expansions of all time with their Undead Nightmare. They basically took the entire landscape and zombified everything. I really think that if they did something like that to San Andreas, it would be just as popular. If they had some sort of alien invasion or zombie takeover, everyone would talk about it. You have so much land that even to this day goes unused. I mean, look at this. There's nobody over here, no animals, no hobos or anything. But if everything was taken over by zombies, you could easily see this as maybe one of the, the zombie refugee areas. Obviously, if aliens were coming down, maybe this is one of the ship crashes. There's a lot that can be said when it comes to San Andreas and untapped potential. But that said, I still think that a single player DLC could be in the making. And there are a couple reasons for us to think there is one possibly coming this year. I also want to say that in August it looks like we'll be getting another GTA Online expansion and it's going to be a biker DLC. And that gets me very interested because the first single player DLC to hit Grand Theft Auto 4 was the Lost in the Damned. We're talking about an expansion that was completely based around biker gangs. And now you're telling me that they're going to add a biker gang expansion to GTA Online? You can definitely see the links there. And of course, it's also been rumored that they're going to add a lot of the bikes that they added to the Lost and the Damned. I was looking at the vehicles that they did add to that expansion, and there's definitely more than just bikes. But that was the big deal. Not only did they add a bunch of new bikes to the game, but they even added the mechanics. They upgraded so that way your main character in the Lost and the Damned, this character Johnny, would not fall off the bike so easily and would be able to handle all of the you know, of course, the combat that was going to come his way in biker gang warfare. Of course, Johnny does make an appearance in this game. For those of you who have played the single player mode, I'm sure all of you are probably familiar with how Trevor is first introduced. He is knocking the bottom off of some random, looks like biker gang chick or something, and it turns out to be Johnny's girlfriend. So they have a confrontation outside. And Trevor makes his grand opening to Grand Theft Auto V by killing Johnny. Yes, the main character from the Biker Gang DLZ is taken out pretty quickly by Trevor himself. It's kind of funny to think you have an entire storyline. We're talking about 10 to 15 hours pretty much erased by Trevor. So hopefully we do get some more bikes. I'm not sure if this DLC is going to have anything to do with single player like we saw, of course, in GTA 4, but I still think there is hope for a single player DLC. We've gotten some words from the masterminds behind the game and even the voice actors. Perhaps that's a huge clue. So when Grand Theft Auto V was first released, everybody was anticipating a single player DLC. That was because Grand Theft Auto Online didn't even exist yet. So nobody knew that GTA Online would make so much money that they would not even have to release another single player storyline expansion. And that might be the case, but we did get some interesting news. I remember when Franklin's voice actor had a picture where he was inside of the Rockstar Studios with his headphones on telling us that he must have been working on something for his character's storyline, especially with the way everything finished up. But then we got news that Michael's voice actor said that not only did he not know of any other single player storyline expansions or if any were ever to be created in the future. So that's bad news. We definitely know that there's a chance they might abort all operations with the storyline and just continue it in GTA 6. Many people speculate that if they do come out with some sort of single player expansion, 
it will take us back to Liberty City. Now, Liberty City has been done to death at this point, so if they were to come out with some sort of expansion, maybe they would bring us back to Liberty City just one last time. Of course, it's one last chance for them to take the city that's already been made, of course, the last version in GTA 4, give it enhanced graphics for the new console, new storyline aspects, and then most of all, let us go there in Grand Theft Auto Online. That would give us so much territory to work with in online multiplayer, especially with this stunning cunts update, man. A lot of people, oh, I meant uh, cunning stunts. Sorry about that. Uh, many people have really been into that. So it would give us more landscape to make these amazing races. So I'd be all about that, even if I do think that there's a lot of territory that they still need to add on to here in San Andreas. Let me know what you guys think. I really feel like a storyline is needed. We don't need to worry about going back to Liberty City, even though I don't think any of us would complain too much. Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. Hopefully the upcoming Biker Gang DLC will give us some new features to Grand Theft Auto Online. I still think it's missing some things. How about adding animals to GTA Online? Hopefully it's not too late for that. And we have been getting some reports that Grand Theft Auto 6 might not come out until 2020. So if that's the case, they'll definitely have plenty of time to add some new things into the game. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, as always... Stay trippy, my friends.